Hi, I'm Carlotta Berry and I'm an open source hardware trailblazer fellow. And my platform is based upon robotics for the streets, designing robotics so that academics can engage in service, teaching, and research. And I'm doing this with the development of Flowerbots, Lilybot, Daisybot, and Rosybot. Lilybot is my smallest robot and can be used for service for um, things with young people as well as novice adults. All of them are open source and 3D printed with an Arduino microcontroller so that any user can go in by using my GitHub and my Hackster.io materials to modify the software and also to modify the design. They could 3D print new mounts, new peripherals, add a gripper, etc. And so today's blog post is Lilybot is a lie. And what that means is we have now designed our first prototype for Lilybot, but we're constantly iterating to make it better. And Lilybot now can move. Lilybot now has one, two, three, four sonar sensors. Our next round will be developing the software so that Lilybot can do obstacle avoidance using these sonar sensors. And then we will show how Lilybot can do obstacle avoidance with infrared sensors, as well as with laser sensors. And then after that, we will add on an IMU and show how Lilybot can move around using either encoders, IMU, odometry, gyroscope, etc., to see how Lilybot moves in the world. So we are only giving you the tip of the iceberg in introducing some of the small things that Lilybot can do because making this open source, it is our hope that you will then take this and run with it, right? That you will crowdsource making Lilybot better by thinking of ways to modify her hardware design, by coming up with ways to modify her software, and as always tagging us and sharing all the exciting things you're able to do. So come along with us as Lilybot is now alive. Stay still wonderful.